Hello friends, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this lecture, we will understand what are digital modulation techniques. Here we will discuss 3SK amplitude shift keying. So, first of all, let's understand what is modulation. A modulation is a process by which some characteristic of a carrier wave is varied in accordance with a modulating, also known as message or baseband signal. So what we do in modulation, we have a high frequency carrier wave and we change the either frequency, phase or amplitude of this carrier wave according to the variations, instantaneous variations of the message signal. So if the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied, then we will call it as amplitude modulation. If frequency or phase is varied of the carrier wave, then it would be known as frequency or phase modulation. So now it's time to understand what is digital modulation then. So digital modulation is a special kind of modulation where the message signal is of digital nature. Okay, it may be binary or emery encoded version. Okay, and the carrier wave is of analog nature. So you can understand here that uh, in analog kind of modulation, uh, where its examples are AM, FM and PM, uh, we have a sinusoidal carrier wave. So in this digital modulation case also, we have analog carrier wave. But the difference between analog and digital modulation is based on the message signal, that is the modulating signal. In uh, analog kind of modulation, the message signal, the modulating signal is of analog nature. But in digital modulation, this, this modulating signal is of digital nature. So we may either use the binary or MRA encoded version while transmitting. In, in MRA encoded version, instead of transmitting one bit at a time, we transmit two or more bits at a time. Okay, so it reduces the bandwidth. The carrier wave used in uh, digital modulation techniques is of analog and generally of uh, sinusoidal nature. Okay. So what we do in ASK, PSK and FSK, actually in digital modulation switching, this is known as the switching or keying of the amplitude, frequency or phase of the carrier wave, okay, as per the message signal. The ASK, PSK and FSK are analogous to AM, PM and FM respectively, as I have already told you that the difference is that in digital modulation techniques, the modulating signal is digital in nature, while in analog modulation techniques like AM, FM and PM, the modulating signal is of uh, analog nature. Okay, so this is written here. Okay, so now we will discuss ASK in detail separately. Okay, so let's start. So amplitude shift keying, ASK in short. In ASK, the amplitude of the carrier wave, which is uh, of analog nature, is changed or we say it is switched according to the digital input signal since we know that the modulating signal here is of digital nature therefore ASK is analogous to AM. AM is a kind of analog modulation because in amplitude modulation also we change the we vary the amplitude of the carrier wave according to the instantaneous value of the message signal. So here also the difference is only of message signals nature where it is here it is digital in nature so here we switch the amplitude of the carrier wave according to the digital input signal let's understand it with this example very simple and interesting example so here this is 0 1 1 0 0 1 this is digital input signal this is the digital input signal as i told you the message signal or the or the modulating signal is of digital nature so this is binary digital nature and this is the carrier wave we know that the carrier wave is sinusoidal that is analog in nature like the analog modulation so here also the modulating signal is digital and the carrier wave is analog now we want to change the amplitude of this carrier wave according to this binary sequence according to this digital binary signal so what will we do here in amplitude shift keying we do not transmit any signal when it is zero okay and 
when it is 1 then this carrier wave is transmitted so as you can see here that at the places where it is 0 0 0 and 0 at three places it is clear from this example that at these three places 1 2 and 3 where it is a 0 at these three places no signal is transmitted no carrier wave is transmitted it is 0 okay nothing is transmitted and at the places where it is 1 at this this and this place we transmit continuous carrier wave so here and here we have two ones so continuous wave the continuous carrier wave sinusoidal wave is transmitted if we had uh, uh, three continuous ones here then we will allow this carrier wave to trans to be transmitted till these three ones so it is very clear so you can understand here that the amplitude of this carrier wave has been changed according to this digital input signal okay